Heinlein here and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial we will go through how to use rockets in the Mi-24P Hind. This will uh, be a two-part series because in the Hind we have uh, many different types of rockets and essentially two different types of uh, delivery. One is uh, with the aid of the floating reticle and uh, one is without it. Using the floating reticle is what we are going to do today and uh, it is the method that you guys will most likely use uh, most of the time. So that is uh, the one we are going to focus on today. But the downside to that method is that you can only use it with the 57mm S5 rockets and the 80mm S8 rockets. Both of these rockets are uh, old school uh, Soviet era unguided uh, rockets and uh, they are quite similar to the American Hydra rockets. Let's open up our uh, armament panel here. And here we can see that we have uh, many different uh, types of rockets. Of course the S8s and uh, the S5s. But we also have the S13 which is a 122mm unguided rocket and the 24 uh, S, I mean uh, the S24B which is an uh, unguided anti-bunker 240mm rocket. Once again, you can only use uh, the floating reticle with uh, the S8 and the S5 rockets. So uh, the, I have loaded this aircraft up with uh, uh, two uh, pods of uh, S5 rockets right here. The S8 and the S5s are uh, quite effective against uh, light and unarmored uh, targets like uh, trucks, infantry and maybe even some APCs. But uh, once you get uh, more than that, uh, you really should not be using this. This will not be quite be really effective. And here is our targets for today, a little uh, vehicle column I have placed uh, out here. So let's start with setting up our aircraft. First off we're going to make sure that our uh, radar altimeter is uh, on and that our uh, uh, auxiliary store lights are on right here and we are going to turn on our sights turn on our range insert right here and our fire control uh, uh, switch moving up to our site we are going to turn on uh, uh, the uh, mode selector switch to auto and while I'm here let me just quickly explain the function of these two switches right here if this one is in auto, uh, then the floating reticle will appear and together with uh, uh, the fire control computer it will uh, help us with guiding our uh, unguided rockets and our cannon uh, on targets. I will show you that uh, later. If you have this one in manual, then you have to manually input uh, the ranging information and uh, uh, so forth uh, to in order to uh, get uh, your rockets where you want them to be. When using the S5s and the S8s, uh, you should always have it in auto. And the synchronization switch right here works uh, the following way, following way. If it is in a down position and this one is in auto, uh, wind and side slip calculations are be performed by the computer and uh, uh, it is great for stationary targets essentially, like uh, we are going to use today. If it is in the upper uh, right position, uh, and you hold the aiming reticle on target for approximately uh, three seconds uh, then the fire control computer will automatically adjust for the target's velocity it's quite neat actually it works but it's it's quite difficult to use uh, to be honest but it uh, works uh, perfectly fine if you uh, know what you're doing so uh, uh, find a little bit out for yourself uh, is what I recommend I have tested it and it works uh, perfectly fine, but today we are attacking a stationary target, so let's just keep it in unsynchronized. So with that out of the way, let's uh, just uh, give uh, Petrovich the command to uh, ready the weapons. The rockets only take a few seconds to prepare, so uh, you don't really need it But if you're only carrying rockets, but I like to do it uh, uh, before taxing. So, let's get into the air and uh, head out to our target area. Alright, we are approaching our targets. Uh, I think I can see them from here. 
So let's uh, quickly set up our uh, weapons right here. We're going to set uh, the weapon selector switch to rockets. I actually have it keybinded. And it says RKT right here. Thank you, uh, Petrovich. And while we're on it, let's just quickly go through the different buttons. It's really simple actually, we are essentially just going to use uh, one button in this uh, in, to, in today's tutorial. It is this one, release weapons. I also have my uh, weapon selector uh, switch uh, key binded. You can uh, I like to have it uh, that way, but uh, that's up to you. And when using rockets, I like to uh, do pop-up attacks, so uh, let's uh, get low. Alright, let's climb. When doing pop-up pop attacks, you should be uh, watch your speed. I like to use rockets at between 200 and 250 kilometers an hour. Alright, now we're pretty much on target. There, there they are. And let's fly towards the target. Okay. When doing rocket attacks, you should pretty much keep the ball in the center. Okay. And now we're almost on target. Okay, let's pause here. Before firing the rockets, I will just uh, quickly go through uh, the symbology we have on our HUD here. When this yellow light here comes on, that means that uh, we are in uh, range and the S5 and S8 rockets uh, only have an effective range of uh, 500 to 2000 meters. So it's quite short range, you have to be pretty close to the target, so we should eliminate uh, anti-aircraft units before moving in with rockets. And this uh, green light, by the way, also means that uh, automatic ranging is on. Moving up to the HUD here, you can see a little triangle right here. That is the side slip uh, indicator. And right here, we can uh, see our ranging information. And each of uh, these uh, little uh, lines between uh, this one indicates 250 meters. So 250, 500, 750, 1000. 1,250, 1,500, 1,775, and 2,000. And while we are moving closer, you will see this uh, thick line over here indicates that indicates uh, the firing range of our rockets will move uh, closer and closer to uh, to the top here. And of course, uh, this cross right here uh, indicates uh, where the computer thinks our rockets will land. It needs to be added that uh, it, this works in uh, a combination with our radar uh, uh, altimeter. And if our target is, let's say, on a higher um, elevation than what our helicopter is, if you are attacking a mountainside, for instance, then uh, this uh, this uh, uh, floating reticle is pretty much useless because our rockets will not hit where it says it will because uh, it will assume that the target is at the same altitude as, as us. But right now uh, we are at a pretty, pretty uh, level field so the rockets is expected to land uh, pretty much uh, where uh, the center of the cross is. So let's uh, try that, let's unpause. Fire. Let's break away. That was all the rockets expended. And we can see that uh, the reticle, uh, how uh, the aiming reticle moves when uh, pointing towards the ground here. Now you saw that. Uh, uh, yellow light uh, came off. Let's pull the nose up. And now it's back on again when we are within range. So you can see how it works. And you can see the side slip indicator. Now we are side slipping a bit to the left. If I 
pushing the right pedal. See that uh, the little triangle moves. Let's have a look at our targets. I don't know about uh, oh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, that was a pretty successful attack run, I would say. So guys, that is it for uh, this video. I hope uh, you learned something and I was able to explain it uh, in a way that you could understand. Thank you all for watching, like and subscribe if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video.